Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today the third video in the series Libertarianism, The New Look of America. This series is by me, Alice B. Claggett. This, the third video, is section two. Caveats regarding possible loci of social unrest. In United States cities, the high cost of housing and the increasing phenomenon of homelessness may lead to social unrest and attempted land grabs through anarchist behavior. This is something for which I feel every large city mayor and every state government ought to have on hand emergency action plans. For states in arid regions, emergency anti-anarchist plans ought, I feel, to highlight security of water transport systems. Electrical grids, I feel, might also be an anarchist target. I have a few examples for you state by state. In California, I see a rekindling of the Latin American ideal of revolutionary ardor with possible attempts by undocumented workers or documented workers fleeing from crimes in their homelands under false names. These energies might, for instance, take the form of faking murder of homeowners under pretense of COVID deaths. The intent might be a fast flip of real estate for profit for a revolutionary cause, or such an attempt might be made to charge fellow revolutionaries rent on homes acquired through COVID murder. Such murders might take place under the aegis of religious righteousness, or what I might term left-wing terrorism. In others of the United States, there may be similar energies of fake COVID deaths to espouse other causes, such as black militants, white supremacy, and so on. In Utah, there might be a Mormon separatist energy because of the seditionist history I have read took place with the founder of Mormonism. I read that in Wikipedia. In Florida, there might be attempts on political power by drug lords from countries to the south, and so on. We people in large United States cities can be a big help in creating peaceful environments for our children by offering our law enforcement departments volunteer help through neighborhood watch programs. That's the conclusion of section two of this series. Section three on maintaining a positive attitude in the face of change will be in the next video. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.